Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name, of course, is Amber the Crazy, and welcome back to Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. In the last episode, we took down took the villainous Black Knight. And now we are heading into King's Knight, but you may notice a little something different. Um, here's the thing. I actually had a different recording. I did this like once and already it messed up on me. Like, this is the first time that I'm retaking a recording, so if you guys are basically uh, interested in the story, I'll probably discuss it through the video while also discussing how to, well, the main thing about King Knight. But anyways, um, in this, in this little profile, like, I actually played the first level of this on my live stream a long time ago, though I don't remember when. I think it was after I beat Shovel Knight. And the expansion just came out at that time, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> but anyways, you notice something different because, okay, well, he doesn't have any, you notice something different because I used to have 2,243 because I have all curiosity thing for sake, I actually, well, you know, basically got a couple of uh, abilities. So this time around, for science! Yes, we must get our uh, chemistry grades up in order to head to the biology field. But anyways, yeah, you'll notice that uh, it's a little bit different. I don't have my uh, six uh, health or anything like that, but I have gotten better at the game, so that's another thing. Anyways, the previous recording, I had this level B, and basically, well. Anyways, I might as well just talk about the upgrades real quick. Um, hold up. Anyways, the new upgrades I got is basically the lob casing, which arcs into the air before it comes crashing down, so we'll show that off. Um, okay, standard fuse, arcana. Uh, float burst. This is the one that I was interested in, like in the original profile, because I thought it'd be a good idea. Anyways, um, what the. What the lob casing is, is basically you lob it in, uh, actually let's show that real quick. You lob it, and there it goes. You can throw three bombs still, so that's at least a good thing. And for the float burst, this is what happens. I don't know which power up does this, but, uh, for Shovel Knight, but I'm pretty sure it's like something else. Anyways, back to how this recording got messed up. Um. Overall, I thought it looked pretty fine. Like, I made a couple jokes. Awkward jokes. Because, you know, me, awkward, doing this for the first time. Because, mainly I stream. Because, well, you know, I stream. Uh, I always stream, like, two shows, like, every Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. That's basically my weekend. Um, but, yeah, uh, there's the... Uh, Ratcopters. Bunch of ratcopters. I wonder if they're robot... robotic ones? Not like, um... Not like actual rats tied to a... Tully, tied to a helicopter blade. I won't know. But yeah, the lock kitchen kind of stinks. Like, it could get some hits from what I could tell. Uh, if you're dealing with the guy in the air, mostly, uh, you'll get them, but for the most part, I rather just stick to the normal grenades. Like the ratcopters, they're easy to handle, so yeah. Anyways, um, so I had like, I don't know how long it was, but I think it was like 20 minutes long, and then for some reason cut down to like 16 to 14. 16 minutes and 14 seconds. Um, oh yeah, by the way, um, this checkpoint right here is a little different because you can actually destroy it, but we're not. Because the reward in there is just basically not worth it. Despite me being saying, well, I'm always greedy in Shovel Knight and I need every single gold piece known to man. Yeah, this is why I like the 
I'm actually liking this uh, floating burst. Like, it's not that bad of a, not that bad of a burst, actually. I'm actually quite liking this. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can't make anything explode. Oh, and also, don't touch the spikes. Otherwise, it's gonna be game over. Say the least. Da, 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 da. Da. Also, another problem with the recording, like, this is just personal experience. This is just, uh, me on the other part, like, I basically... Oh, damn. <laughs> well, I failed. I'm a failure! Um, basically, I kept using the bait bomb, which I didn't realize until I was playing it. And then later on, I was like, oh god, I, I died at one point, and I was like, how did I die? And I wasn't really paying attention to my uh, health meter whatsoever. Uh, speaking of which, it's about to go down, so there we go. And also, like I said, um... It's gonna be a problem when you're trying to get used to the... using your... using your health tonics uh, for your health. Because you don't even have, like... Oh yeah, uh, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you don't have... Like, once you die, uh, the extra health orbs you get disappear. So that is a problem right there. But anyways... We got a flare one! Oh uh, wait, it's a worthless relic. Maybe someone else would want this rubbish. Uh, actually, Shovel Knight actually... Wait a minute. The fact that it's rubbish, the fact someone took it out of the chest... Actually, I'm kind of thinking that Plague Knight actually went before Shovel Knight. Not too sure on that. But, uh... Yeah, I'm basically saying that's going to be canon. I'm pretty sure of it. And there goes one of the chariot horses. Oh, no, no, no! Ow! Oh. Not self, never speed through the course unless you know what's up ahead. Bates bombs will always be your friend. Also, like, like, I kept dying. To say the least, on easy parts. To say, to say the least, uh, I do apologize for that. And I also forgot, like, one other thing. Uh, like that, see that cipher coin right there? Okay, well, I just got it, so, yeah. But anyways, uh, we see that uh, Chester is here, and here's some of the dialogue. Pour it in the beaker or stuff the bag! Chester's always got the swag! Ah, uh, here we go. Hey, nice relic, pal! You know, I could take that off your hands and give you something a little more interesting. Anyways, so we get a, uh, we got the big boom upon an explosion with a far reaching radius. This one, I believe, is devastating. And I'm pretty sure Chester is now a hardened criminal at, at this point. Because why else would he sell these bombs to me? It's like, um, I don't know who that character was, but I think it was Tristan, where he has 50 mega, mega grenades. And basically, <laughs> well, he basically is one criminal, including a uh, mega Kia source. 
Uh, this was from uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, and that was, like, I'm gonna be definitely honest, like, before Final Fantasy 3, which was 6 in America, um, I actually played uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest first. Yes, shocking, I know. <laughs> but, yeah. I actually played that game first, and it was miserable. And I felt like an idiot, like, when playing it. Like, this was at a time when I was just getting into games and all that, and I just basically played Final Fantasy Mystic Quest the whole time. And that was actually my first RPG as well. Before, like, my actual RPG that I actually like was, um, shit, what was it? Um, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga on the Game Boy Advance. Like, that was my favorite RPG of all time. Anyway, so, here we are at the Griffin, and basically what you want to do is just basically go over his head and uh, just pelt him with grenades. Also, with the uh, float burst, this is definitely easy. Alright, we broke that. Alright. Oh god, it's an army of rat copters. Everybody run, run, run for the fishes. Or the cheese. Ah! Damn you rats! Stop kicking me off the platforms! Ah, the beetles! Alright, let's just float easily down the way, but have. I mean, all you need to do, like, instead of money, you might as well just enjoy the little things. I wasted a big bomb there. Words of wisdom and one of the many, many steps in order to survive in the zombie land. Uh, did they actually, uh, did anybody actually see that movie? Because, let me tell you something, if you haven't seen that movie, it was funny as hell. Like, it's not one of the best movies. I doubt it will get any... I doubt it actually got any rewards, but, you know, for goofy movies set in an apocalyptic feud... set in an apocalyptic uh, world, I was basically just wondering at this point, like, if anybody else saw this movie, because I'm pretty sure it gets overlooked. Like, I know some people actually remember it, but as one of the great comedy comedy movies of all time, not really. I, like, I don't know, probably Groundhog Day was actually more funnier than Zombieland, but... Like, and hell, I'm probably thinking, like, Shaun of the Dead. I've never seen that movie before, though I'm pretty sure that's actually a lot better than what Zombieland has to offer. No offense to Zombieland, I mean, I like that movie. That was the movie I saw, and I didn't see, like... But when I saw reviews of Shaun the Dead, I was like, wow, it's actually pretty good. I need to check this out. And I don't think I have it on DVD, though. Like, I'm pretty sure I don't. Like, I might have to look it up if it's out on Blu-ray on... And all the things behind it was just basically, from what I've heard about it, is basically it was some sort of trilogy. It came with, like, Shaun the Dead, uh, I think this is going by memory, uh, what order they came in. Um, I know the World's End was the last of them, of the Cornello trilogy. And I just floated on a block and just died. Like, like a daft bastard. But we're gonna try that again and get my money back. Um, one of the best things about Shovel Knight is basically one thing and one thing only. Is that... Once you collect a collectible, like the song sheets and everything, 
Um, you're pretty much good... Good, to say the least. Uh, you don't have to recollect them after you hit the checkpoint, which is very generous, to say the least. Which is actually very kind of the developers, uh, not letting me basically lose my collectible after collecting it. Hell, I'd be singing a different tune if I actually lost all my items. Well, not really items, just basically something. Yeah. Where are those kids on? That message distracted me. That message from whoever Kid Zombie is basically distracted me. What a jerk. Anyways, uh, moving back over here. Oh yeah, we got another place for our bait bomb. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, that was, uh... Hey, my daughter's starting to bark, which is not good. Wait, where's my arcana? Okay, here it is. Okay, now we got the bait bomb. And in here we get, say, health tonic. Oh god. Oh dear, I accidentally switched to the lob casings. What have I done? Oh, there we go. Well, get out of the way, you... What? I'm out of power? Are you kidding me? Why is it suddenly giving me no power? What, it's recharged? Ah, okay. Okay, more health tonics. Okay. I don't care about the... I don't care about that certain amount of gold. I just don't care. Never be too greedy in real life, kitties. Just... just letting you know that. Take some advice from... Happy Eanville, to say the least. Ah, it's a big bomb! Okay, why did I... There we go, much better. Okay, stop. There we go. Wee. And over here, we're facing another Griffin. Boom! That Griffin is toast! We're having a Griffin barbecue, to say the least. Cooking up magical creatures, and next up we're gonna have like one of those uh, lime goat steak thingies. But is it? Ah, here is the villainous King Knight, the one and only <clears throat> Plague Knight. You double-crossing constable of crucibles. <laughs> Having fun in your little kingdom. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I meant. Kingdom? Oh, this lavish lifestyle is in my blood, peon. Bask in the glimmering grace of a true monarch. As the embodiment of opulence, I demand tribute. <laughs> What's have that essence? I think I'll take that nice crown, too. Oh, yeah, before we do that, let's go with the big boom. Anyways, uh, unlike, uh, Black Knight, he actually takes, like, a bunch of, a uh, bunch of hits, like, at least 20 hits or so, that you can defeat him. And also, uh, the main point about this battle is just to, well, it's basically an introductory fight. I mean, sure, Black Knight was a little bit more suitable, and also you gotta watch out for the confettis and watch out for him. Uh, if you can somehow get him while he's, like, standing in there, uh, when the confetti is basically being, uh, spouted out and everything, he should be good. But, anyways, we defeat him, and we got the essence! Oh god, those flashes. I gotta love them.
Anyways, we get a spiraling ball of fire. Also, can we get the uh, crown there, please? Drop the essence into my dynamo decanter. Here, essences are volatile, but my breakthrough design stabilizes them. Once the essences are all distilled together, if my research is correct, then we can craft the ultimate potion. King's Knight Essence is ours! It is discovered that his crown is real gold! Um... It's basically more like a fucking inflatable fucking crown! By the way, that's uh, Ashen's reference, if you don't know who that is. Uh, look up his uh, April 2014... Uh, uh, 2015 Loot Crate video. And you'll see why I made that reference. <laughs> I knew it. Pretender indeed. Well, let's get down to business then. So, what are we working on? Okay, I have a bunch of new toys designed, but we still have to build them. We'll need 40 cipher coins for materials. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, stand back as I test my hypothesis. All the cipher coins belongs to you, Mona! Take a gander in your new arsenal. Heh. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> what she says, heh. <laughs> she knows she's laughing. She knows she cares. Anyways, um, hmm. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Um, I don't know which upgrades to get. These are all still new to me, so... Yeah. Um... Let's see. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking about, like, uh, going with the Sentry Fuse, to say the least. And as for everything else, I think it's about time that we upgrade our magic. That way we can, uh, use our, uh, power a little more. I still love that floating thing, so anyways. Hi, a Plague Knight! I bet you'd be just, um, stellar at physics. You're good at math, right? Anyway, uh, yes, of course. Um, you like potions, would you? Yes, yes I would. Anyways, our first upgrade! And what's the postmaster have for us? Wait for a bite and then reel in! Boring! I just love your explosive style, master! Oh god, well, thank you. I feel honored. Ah, uh, what about you? My ally! That's four sheets of paper you brought me! 500 gold for each! Huh? What, what is this folly? There's some sort of musical notation scribbled all over it! On both sides! There's nowhere for me to write! Useless! Into the trash bin it goes! Hey, was he talking? I must have blinked out. Oh! Oh, so Oolong got his music all along. All along. How nice. Oh, it's been a long time to remember music. Can I play a good song? Will be good song. Will be good treat. So, Dr. Knight, Oolong ready. You listen to some music now? Yes, bravo. Only known best musics. I remember. Um, let's see, what should we let him play? Um, I think we should do this. Da, da, da. Beautiful. He knows how to play a good song. Way to go, Oolong! Oh, and also, I forgot to mention in the last part that you actually blow these guys up, uh, your minions and everything. And you can talk to them. I won't forget our marker for secret areas! Cypher coins embedded in the walls! Well, thank you for telling me that. Anyways, we have defeated the King's Knight! F.O. Oh! We got some roaming in the overworld. Well, we might as well have to check that out in the next part. Which won't be until a couple more hours. Um, I'm actually putting out another part uh, today, guys. So, if you guys want to tune in, be sure to...
check that out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload this later on. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. God, I hate...